Hey everyone, Fortinet recently announced integration with Google Cloud Platform's Network Connectivity Center, NCC for short, where enterprises can enjoy the benefits of a secure global service delivery in a multi-cloud or hybrid cloud architecture. In this demo, we will show Fortinet integration with Google Cloud's NCC. In the diagram I have shown here, I have two remote sites located in an AWS VPC and a Microsoft Azure VNet. So we have a multi-cloud architecture setup with applications in each cloud site. The application inside the AWS VPC wants to communicate with the application located inside the VNet on Microsoft Azure. Customers might choose this setup if they want to use AWS and Microsoft Azure for multi-site application deployment while using Google Cloud's NCC as the central hub for all traffic to flow through and utilize their infrastructure for high performance. The benefits can be infrastructure resilience or avoiding a single cloud vendor lock-in. To secure this traffic, we have two Forti gates located in the west and east region within Google Cloud. Fortinet's high-performing network security solution, FortiGate, enables security teams to adapt to the dynamic nature of the cloud by providing a single platform that converges network and security capabilities together, working consistently regardless of what cloud vendor is chosen. Customers can use the joint solution to deliver secure and reliable services to users from anywhere. Additional information can be found in the description along with more information about the joint solution between Fortinet and Google. Now, to get started, I'll go into a Linux computer I have set up where I cloned a GitHub repository with an automation script needed to launch resources in GCP. I've also done the prerequisites, including installing required packages and creating a service account so that this computer can have the necessary permissions to launch the resources with GCP. Additionally, I've uploaded my files with necessary parameters into a storage bucket. You'll need to do this before executing the automation script. The script will automatically create and deploy the necessary infrastructure inside Google Cloud Platform such that secure communications between applications and workloads can be made between sites using Fortinet and Google NCC. So once I hit enter, you can see the resources like VPCs, subnets, FortiGate, and NCC are launched automatically. I can also see that within the FortiGate, configurations are, are autom automatically configured so that FortiGate can talk with GCP's cloud router to exchange information dynamically. Now, the next step would be to connect the AWS site to Google Cloud. In this case, I have an IPsec tunnel setup between my two sites. Organizations can use FortiGate secure SD-WAN solution and use multiple connections for high link resilience or to help prioritize service delivery. I've already set up the VPN connection so that if I go into my FortiGate on my AWS site, I can verify that my VPN between AWS and Google Cloud is up. Setting up an IPsec VPN tunnel in FortiGate is extremely simple and works consistently across on-premise or on any cloud. I can use a wizard available within my the FortiGate to quickly set up my two connections. This is where I can also use external connectors to create dynamic security policies that automatically updates when my cloud applications network information is also updated. To verify communication between AWS and GCP, I'll do a simple ping from my application on AWS to an application I have running inside of VPC on GCP. As you can see, I have full communication between AWS and GCP. 
Now, to have a secure service delivery between an application on AWS, perhaps located in uh, California, and an application on Microsoft Azure, perhaps located in uh, the East region, say in Virginia, I can use the same script to launch another spoke closer to Virginia, such that traffic would flow through the FortiGate in a region located on the Eastern United States. The benefits is that the communication will have lower latency by being closer to the application. The application on Azure can travel to a nearby GCP data center in Virginia and go directly to California through Google's network infrastructure to the application in California. Based on the architecture shown here, I'll use the same script, just with a per different parameter this time. So it will automatically create a second spoke within Google's NCC, connecting to a second FortiGate located in the Eastern region. If I go into my computer again and launch the automation script, I see that the resources are being created in a second region for me. Once it is finished, I just need to repeat the step above and connect my Azure site to my GCP site. I can go into my Google Cloud Platform to verify the deployment. I can see that there are two forty gates one in the West region and one in the East region. If I go into the VPC section in Google Cloud and look at the routes, I can see routes are being exchanged dynamically between my 240 gate and GCP's cloud router. This tells me that my 40 gates are communicating with Google Cloud's router. Cloud routers are used to advertise prefixes into the uh, NCC hub, and the NCC hub will then propagate prefix advertisements to the 240 gates. I've configured the two remote site on AWS and Azure to use BGP, so it will be able to know how to communicate with each other. So if I go into one of the 40 gate, say on AWS, under my network dashboard, I can verify that it knows my 10.1.2.0 slash 24 network, which is my protected subnet on Azure with an application running inside. If I now go ahead and ping the application in the VNet on Azure from my AWS application, I can see that I am able to successfully communicate with that application. For customers looking to secure their global infrastructure and want to use Google Cloud Network Connectivity Center as a central hub for network visibility, the integration with Fortinet provides a secure and reliable way to deliver services from anywhere regardless of platforms or environments. That concludes the demo, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out.